Welcome to the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop, woodworking with an Appalachian flair. This is Gerald Vance with the Appalachian Heritage Woodshop. Today I'm in my friend Hank Jones's workshop. Hank, I appreciate you letting me come up here. Certainly. Uh, Certainly. And I wanted to talk a couple of vices you had, very, very old uh, Morgan vices. Mm -hmm. Uh, where'd you get those? I got those at Cedar Grove Junior High 17 years ago. Now, the workbenches they had in those kind of uh, uh, workshops were not the traditional type workbenches. These were huge. These were, what, about five by five or six exactly, by six? Exactly, exactly. Later on, I had a workbench in here, and I used one and mounted it on the edge. Sure. I would use the laminated top that I salvaged from Cedar Grove. Uh huh. And uh, so I used it for a couple of years. So those were just stuck in the corner of your shop for several years. Several years, several years. And uh, rainwater gets in underneath my door, mm -hmm. and water would seep over there to them. And so that little bit of rainwater got over there and caused a little bit of rust. It did. It yeah. did. So I didn't think nothing of it. And they were dis disrepair to bad. Sure. And well, they they were in bad shape. Yeah. So. Uh, when you come by the other day and uh, seen one of the handles that was off of it, uh, that reminded me that I had them, mm -hmm. and because uh, I'd forgotten about. Them. Yeah. And uh, so I gave them to you yeah. to take home and refurbish them and use as you. you well, wish. I wanted to let you know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to uh, refurbish them. I'll take them all the way apart, uh, remove all the surface rust. Uh, if any parts are damaged, uh, I'll replace it. Uh, then I'll uh, paint it up, and reassemble it, put some new wooden jaws on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up to Montgomery, right up the river from Cedar Grove. As you know, uh, um, Bridge Valley Community and Technical College has a wood shop up there. Okay. And it will go into their workshop. So okay. it, it's like a big community workshop there. So these vices are basically going to graduate from middle school right up to the college level. Oh, that's wonderful. That's, so wonderful. that's good. So I appreciate you letting me have those, take them home, and uh, I'll be sure and show you what they look like when I'm done. Well, then you can use them. Look forward to it. Now that I've got these in the shop, I want to take a little bit closer look at them. Both of these are a Morgan 10A vice. The 10A was the smallest vise made uh, by Morgan and several other manufacturers. The jaw is about uh, four inches deep, seven inches wide, and it's supposed to open up about nine inches. Both of these have the wooden jaws missing. And when I open this one up, I can tell that they put some kind of a padding in here instead of wood. And uh, so these are covered with glue and a little bit of padding residue. So that'll have to be taken off. But as far as parts, the only parts that are missing on this one, the uh, cotter pin back here is missing. And of course, uh, the locking pin for the handle here has been replaced with a bolt. And of course, the wooden uh, handle is missing. Everything else is there except for the wooden jaws. And this is in uh, real good shape. The uh, nut down here is real good and it works. It's just got a lot of surface rust on it. So this one just needs cleaned up and a wooden handle made and replace the cotter pin and the uh, handle locking pin here. So this one right here is in good shape. This one right here is a little bit <clears throat> worse for wear. Uh, here's the handle for it. You can see it does have a little bit of uh, wood in it, but the locking pin is missing. The handle for the dog is bent. The cotter pin on the back is missing. And this one is, is froze up. Uh, so it's got some rust on it. And it's got glue on the jaws where they glued something in there. But one of the things I noticed these are both are Morgan 10A vices, but if you notice, this one is bigger 
than this one. It's longer. So I got to looking, and somebody cut the rods off and the all-thread rod. So they shortened this one. I would imagine they did that when they installed it on the workbench. Apparently it was too long to be installed uh, where they used it, so they just cut it off and shortened it. Um, but it's still something that can be fixed up and used. So what I'm going to do now is uh, disassemble these um, and put them in a, um, a vinegar bath to remove the rust, surface rust, clean them up a little bit, and uh, I'll show you what they look like after they're disassembled. Okay, I've completely cleaned one of the vise, and there's a couple things I wanted to show you. Uh, this is the other one that I have not cleaned. And you can see where they cut off the rods to shorten this vise. And the problem with that, when they cut this off, they used some tool that had threaded jaws, like a pipe wrench or channel locks or even a lathe, and they really boogered up these threads right here. And I don't have a thread dresser that big, so I had to dress all those by hand. So never put a pipe wrench directly onto threads. You're just messing up the threads is all you do. For some reason, they didn't have a wooden jaw over this metal jaw. What they had, they had applied some type of an adhesive and then put uh, a, a material on there, a, a foam type material. The problem with that, that adhesive got into these holes that are tapped and it took me quite a while to uh, clean all that adhesive out of the tapped holes. The thumb latch on the dog is bent a little bit, so I'm going to make a new one of those. But that's all the parts. It cleaned up real nice. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is set this aside. I'll clean the other one up, and after I get it cleaned up, then I'll mask off both of them and paint it. Uh, there is one other thing I wanted to show you. These rods are held in with a nut, so it's threaded on there. They have taken a punch and punched down in here to keep that nut from backing off. And the problem with that is um, the nut doesn't come off. So rather than... Uh, mess around with it. I just went ahead and cleaned the rods uh, by hand and I'm going to leave that on there. The other one is the same way. Um, but again, instead of punching uh, between the, the threaded rod and the nut, uh, use some Loctite. Don't punch in there. You're just uh, damaging the threaded rod. All right, let me clean the other one and then we'll see what, uh, what it looks like after it's painted. Here's the finished two vices after they've been completely restored. Other than taking them completely apart, removing all the rust and painting them, that part is obvious. Let me show you some of the things that's not so obvious. I had to repair the threads on this one that had been modified. It had been shortened and where they applied uh, some type of pressure on the when the threads, they burgered them up real bad, so I had to straighten those up. The two following rods on the back, I had to straighten them out. They were bent and causing it to bind. And the dog on both of these, the spring on the inside, which uh, keeps the dog retained in its position. Uh, I thought I was gonna have to make new springs, but after I took them apart and cleaned them, they seemed to be working fine. I did make some new finger pulls on the dogs, on both of them. And on these ones, I actually drilled a hole and tapped them. The other ones were a rivet that uh, was a friction fit. I think these will uh, last a lot longer. And of course, I had to turn new knobs and installed 
new wooden jaws. I used cherry and walnut on the knobs and one set of jaws is walnut and the other set of jaws is cherry. Now these wooden jaws are slightly elevated. I prefer to install the vise and then hand plane the jaws down flush with the top of the workbench. So these are the two Morgan 10A vices. I want to thank Hank Jones for donating these two vices. These two are graduating from a defunct middle school wood shop to a new community and technical college wood shop in Montgomery, West Virginia. It is at the Bridge Valley Community and Technical College Grid Wood Shop. You ought to check it out. So these will be installed on the vices up there. So this was a fun, enjoyable project, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.